Hello rainbows and welcome back to 31 days of Halloween where I upload a brand new tutorial every day for the wonderful month of October. So today's look is something a little bit more on the pretty side. It's like a colorful watercolor masquerade type mask and honestly I love this look. It was so much fun to create and it just is so stunning and eye-catching. So I'm starting off with my Esme Skin Mineral Foundation which I know is slightly darker than my current Moonbeam skin color. Oh thank god it's summer. <laughs> and I'm basically applying this over my face and then going in with a little bit of concealer because I have just come off night shift. Literally I've only slept for two hours so I'm, I'm covering those bags. Moving on to my Vegas Lights Makeup Geek palette. I'm going in with the lighter shade called Mirage and applying a wash of this over my lid. The next shadow I'm using is called Desert Sand and I'm just applying this into my crease to start bringing in a little bit more definition. Now moving on to NYX's Epic Black Mousse Liner. I'm doing a pretty fierce cat liner and just trying to taper it down towards the inner corner as best as I can. Back to the Vegas Lights palette, I'm going in with the shade Butter Bing and just doing a very subtle cut crease just in the outer corner of my eye. Going in with my Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara and then some Adele Lashes. These have little kind of pink bits, <laughs> pink bits on the tip. So, <laughs> oh, that just sounded so dirty. Um, so I'm using Maron Paradise Paints. I've got quite a few different colors and just using a kind of fluffy brush to give it more of a stippled effect and just applying random bits of this all over where I'm gonna do the mask. So still using a water activated paint, I am starting to do my lace mask design. You can use reference pictures if you're struggling um, or you can just kind of wing it and go from there. I'm also using a liquid eyeliner to do more finer details or you can just use a smaller brush. So now I'm going in with a little bit of cheek contouring and also nose contouring and then moving on to the chest piece. I'm basically doing exactly the same as what I did with the face mask. Obviously using a bigger brush for the kind of colour splotches and yeah, just drawing my own design and going crazy. So I've got these little gems from the craft shop and I'm just applying this in kind of random areas. I wasn't 100% sure if I was happy with it, but I think in the light it does give it quite a nice effect. The final finishing touch is to apply some black lipstick. I'm just lining my lips in the NYX Black Mousse Liner and then going in with a Line Crimes Black Velvet Velveteen all over my lips. Then adding a black wig and that is pretty much it. You have the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, definitely give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Become a part of the Rainbow family. Love you guys and I'll see you all tomorrow.